Good morning. Well, I'm here in Sydney Gardens this uh, rather wet Monday morning and behind me is roughly where the bandstand stood before it was demolished. And they are busy clearing this area of, uh, of Laurel. I think you can see it there. Uh, to open up the view through to what will be the new playing ground. Uh, if you're new to this story, uh, the Sydney Gardens Project, a multi-million pound scheme to enhance, uh, reinvigorate this historic pleasure garden. Uh, when the likes of Jane Austen visited from uh, her house at number four across the road, she would have to have paid to come in. Now it is um, a public park. A lot of people are saying to me, oh, they're chopping all the laurel down. Can you find out what's happening? So I had a word with Keith Rowe, who's the project director uh, for this particular enterprise. Um, we can start at the top. I've taken a, a couple of pictures of the bank beside the Kennet and Avon Canal with the newly fenced upper tennis court behind. Now, according to Keith, that's being put back to grass uh, to open up a new view from the canal, but a view that you would have enjoyed back in uh, the 1920s, apparently. Uh, from the Temple of Minerva, uh, which is behind me up here, there it is. Uh, from the Temple of Minerva down towards the uh, the Holborn entrance, which is down there behind me. Um, they're removing laurel, as I said, to open up views through to the new play area. Uh, but alongside this, an area where the, the main bandstand stood, which is roughly uh, over my left shoulder. So uh, it's where that lady with the uh, pushchair and children is. Um, that's where the main bandstand stood. Now they, they have no funds, no money to be able to reinstate that, but they will create a space that could serve as a, a pop-up performance area. And there is always, of course, the future prospect of uh, someone coming up with some money uh, to pay for the bandstand to be reinstated. Down near the, uh, the main entrance, the area by what was the gardener's lodge, um, the laurel is being removed there to create new planting beds for perennial style planting. Um, there is no room and not enough nutrient in the soil to feed laurel uh, and bedding plants. Um, Keith says not all the laurel in the gardens is earmarked for removal. Uh, they'll be keeping the laurel on the eastern boundary along Sydney Road and will manage it uh, on a two to three year coppice cycle. So that's an update on uh, what's happening here in Sydney Gardens. I think most of the main construction work's gonna happen next year, but it's certainly gonna be a, a, a much improved facility when all of this is completed. Uh, whatever you're doing this Monday, uh, have a good day and stay safe.